Good day everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to today's video. And we're gonna start the install of the ring and pinion, but this video is about how I go about installing the ring gear. First off, I wanna do is I got my oven here, you got a heater up. So I'm gonna set my temperature to, sorry, on a camera view, 250 degrees. Got that set up. Because what you want to do, you want to put the ring gear in there to heat it up. And then once it's heated up, it expands enough and then it could slide over top of that ring. So it fits in there nice and tight. But before we do that, I need to prep that. A couple things. I got my Detroit True Track there. I just got a file. And I'm just going over the bolt holes and the edge just to see if I could feel any high spots whatsoever because high spots will cause some issues so now I just want to clean the surface the brake cleaner remove any oils before I get ready to install it got the ring gear probably the most important part same thing just making sure there's no burrs feels good Clean her off. Oven should be hot enough for the ring gear. Let's try this again. Cause I think we got her. I think we got her now. One of the problems is that the gear is so thick. There we go, we just fit it right on. Just fit it right on. I'm just gonna spin all these in. Right by hand. Make sure they all just line up nice. Things are looking good. There. So now that will cool. Now that the ring gear is cooled, which means it would have shrunk. Like I said before, that's the reason why I don't torque it up when it's hot because the metals expand it and then when it shrinks, it'll lose some of its torque. This way it's cold. This is my setup. I'm gonna tighten it up in the vise. Cause you know the Detroit True Track has that big hole, so I got a piece of one inch tube that I taped up the end, and then I'm gonna put the differential on there. I'm gonna start tightening it up. So my master bearing kit came with some red Loctite that we're gonna use on the bolts, 
And for what I found out, we're gonna go 80 foot pounds. Yeah, it didn't take much to to bust it free at all. Put some, put some red Loctite on there. Tight. And then you know, mark it with an X. So you want to do this in a crisscross pattern, kind of go all over the place. The rest of this is just sped up and fast mode just kind of show you how I go about tightening it up. Like I said before, with the ring gears heated up and you install it, I don't tighten it up then. Just for the fact that I showed you is that once the ring gear cools down, it shrinks, it loses some of its torque and you could have issues later on. When it's cool, pull the bolts out like I'm doing right now, lock tight them in place and you're good to go. Important to go in a crisscross pattern. And it's pretty simple. Make sure you use the proper torque specs and everything else. I wish you guys luck. And there'll be a little piece at the very end. All right, you guys made it to the end of the video. The paint pen kind of had a little bit of a run there, kind of messy. It's always good practice to cross off your bolts as you torque them down so you know which ones are torqued. And now you're ready to install the bearings and get ready to install the differential. And hopefully your gear install goes good. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.